Hello everyone and thank you for joining. My name is Raul and in this series we're gonna look at the Redux Toolkit library. It was developed by the Redux core team to help you write less code and simplify the most common use cases for Redux. Cases like store setup, creating reducers, creating actions. It provides defaults out of the box and includes the most common Redux add-ons. Additionally, it takes inspiration from li libraries like Immer and lets you write mutative logic in your Redux reducers. As you know by now, Redux reducers should always be immutable, but using this library we will be able to write our reducible reducers, sorry, with mutative logic that will make them easier to read, maintain and update in the future. Let's see what we're going to build today. We're going to build a small personal library application with two sections. At the top, we're going to have an input section with the title, the author and the rating for a book. Then we can press the add book button and it will add it to our table. If we want to remove a book from our library, we just press the X button here. This small application is meant to just show you the basics of how you would use Redux Toolkit. Of course, for it to have the best effect, you will need it in a bigger application with much more logic, but this will give you a great inter introduction. The code for all of the videos in this series will be found on my GitHub, link will be in the description below. Each video will have a branch from where you can clone the code. In the first video of this series, we're going to build the UI, the markup and the styling for, for this application. So if you're just interested in the library section of this series, skip the next video and you can clone the, the, the branch from uh, GitHub just so we can have the same code and you can go along with it. Thank you for joining and I'll see you in the next video where we will get started using the Redux Toolkit library. 